I have made literally hundreds of UV maps during my time as a 3D artist. I paid an unspeakable amount of money to learn the secrets of 3D origami. And today I'm going to consolidate all that knowledge and teach you the one lesson that matters most when UV unwrapping. So I have the default cube here. And if you're like me, you probably have an unholy hatred towards this that image. Is disgusting. These little tiles on your screen are what dictate your materials and show how any texture will be portrayed on your model. The end goal is to have all of these tiles perfectly balanced and uniform with no stretching. The difference between a great and a bad unwrap is literally like this oh my goodness. and this. <laughs> Okay, let's unwrap this cube so you have an idea of what I'm even talking about. First, open Blender and jump into the UV editing workspace. You should be met with the default cube asserting dominance over you. This is already unwrapped and it's what we want to achieve. Each one of these faces directly corresponds to the cube and this is the most ideal unwrap that you can get for this object. But how do we create this? Well, we first need to reset the unwrap. So with all of your faces selected, press U to get this menu here and click the reset button. Now we have a completely fresh set of UVs and we can walk through the philosophy of unwrapping. Essentially, we want to flatten each face of our model into squares by making precise cuts or seams on our model. Think of this like reverse origami. We want to deconstruct our finished product into something 2D that would make sense to reconstruct. For this cube, we want to end up with that T-pose. So I'll select these edges here that I think will create that shape once they've been cut and marked as a seam. So once you've selected your edges, press U to open up the unwrap menu and click the mark as seam button. This will then change the edges to display as red, indicating that this is where the seam or the cut will take place. Now we can unwrap the model. So press A to select all of your faces on your object. Press U again to open up the unwrap menu and click unwrap. If your UVs come out looking like this or this, then you may need to jump back to edit mode and reevaluate where you made your seams. Otherwise, you should have a beautiful unwrap looking back at you. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> now this is great, but it's super time consuming. And we were only doing this with a cube. Imagine doing this with something crazy like a spaceship or an organic model. It would take forever. So here are just a few tips that I use personally to massively increase my workflow. Number one, live unwrapping. This is going to show you in real time your model being unwrapped. To enable this feature, we need to check a few boxes. Make sure you're in edit mode and come up here to the options drop down and select live unwrap. We now want to also check this option here in the UV editor to see the unwrap in real time. The last step is to tag the selections you make as seams. So while holding control, click on the edges and open this menu here. We now want to open the edge tag menu and change it from selection to tag seam. Now you'll see immediately we've tagged those seams with a few clicks and we have the UVs unwrapping live. This one is a game changer. It allows you to see your UVs in real time that are being stretched and may need some help. So first in the UV editor, come over here to the overlays dropdown and click this display stretch button. We can now see through this color map which UVs are being stretched and need our attention. If it's blue, it means it's good. And if it's any other color, it means it probably needs some attention and that the UVs are being stretched. Oh, and by the way, I know you're asking, Smeef, what is the one lesson that you learned? Hot take, it doesn't have to be perfect. But this guy here taught me that everything you do in VFX has to be perfect. You need to follow this rule when making your UV unwraps. And to put it simply, you don't. This applies to all aspects of 3D generalists as well. You know, you don't have to follow these teachings to a T. They're simply a guideline and a sort of process to help you along your way. To sum it up, everything is relative to where you are on your journey as a VFX artist. And I think now is a fantastic time to let you know that I'm starting an online school. Level Up Academy is the one-stop shop for anyone and everyone wanting to learn 3D. You're gonna learn the best practices in modeling, animation, lighting, render, everything you need to know to break into the industry, create an amazing portfolio, or even just land some freelance clients. We're going to teach you this at Level Up Academy. The reason why I'm even creating this school is to break down the barrier to entry 
for university style teaching okay i paid literally ninety thousand dollars for this piece of paper i don't want to see anybody else paying that kind of money for something that's so easily accessible online we currently have a waiting list for when we eventually open up our school to our students but for anyone who's on the waiting list they're going to receive a major discount at launch if you're at all interested in this kind of thing you can click the link in the description or visit levelupacademy.com to join the waitlist and be notified when we launch now that you know how to uv unwrap you'll definitely want to check out this video here <laughs>